A very good morning, folks. It was 10 past 6 in the morning. I was up at 5.40. I went to bed at 1 in the morning. Yeah, and uh, 4 hours is not enough sleep. I know that. I should be sleeping earlier, but last night I was editing something else. It's a beautiful morning. Let's just celebrate the day and let's get along with what we are doing because every day can be very interesting. Today I'm back at the at the tennis academy, but this is not to show you any more tennis because yes, we have shown you enough tennis. Today I want to show you something very special, something that I've been using for a few days now. I remember I took a little break a couple of weeks back and I went and looked around for something and that is this. Now I'm going to show you how this thing performs. I've been looking around for a ND filter for quite a while now and in Delhi it's not that easy even online and this is the closest thing that I was finding online but I wanted to check it out because it's it's, it's a brand that I'm not aware of JJC never heard of it it's a digital filter it's written in one two three four five languages it's a rather cheap packaging it says made in Japan multi coated and so on and so forth eight layer coating on each surface of the glass greater control over exposure setting and so on and so forth it's a rather tacky packaging. I'll just show you how it works. The effectiveness of this. You be a judge. Here you go. It's at the minimum setting right now. Right? Now, I'm going to turn the ring and have a look. Now there will be a point when you'll see the famous X of the ND filter. Currently it is shooting at 180th of a second. So you can make out clearly the difference. But what about the color cast? On this screen I cannot really make out but when I'm working on my monitor I can make out a certain color cast. What I don't like about this filter is uh, you know uh, here there's nothing on which you can mount another filter. Now if I have to, let's say, if I want to put a circular polarizing, of course it becomes complicated. Then first I put a circular polarizing, then I put this filter, or any other filter, then I put this filter. Of course, with an ND, I wouldn't want to put anything else, uh, especially when I'm shooting video. So for me, this suffices for anything that I want to do. So far, the ND filter that I've been using for the past 10 odd days, I'm not unhappy with it at all. In fact, I'm pretty satisfied with the results of this. You must have seen what it looks like. I'm yet to see today's results because I've been shooting. Very soon we are going to a degustation ceremony organized by Miles' cousin's sister. She's all of, what, 13? And she has called people for the degustation of her creations. Now the color code for men for today's evening meal is pink. Now I have a pink shirt but it's all crumpled so for want of a choice I'm wearing a red shirt. <laughs> Well, uh, how, what do you think the food is going to be today? Uh, I think the food is going to be really good. Uh, it's going to be outstanding. Yeah, the food is always outstanding whenever Kriti makes it. I, I totally agree. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But you don't know what we're going to eat, right? We'll find out soon. Yeah. Like pictures from everywhere. Right. Oh, that's a video. I know. 
No, no, but you need to share. I don't want YouTube, please. As I was saying the other day, I find lifts with mirrors fascinating places to shoot. So I'm back in a lift and I wanted to do it earlier because there were too many people so I couldn't do it. Finished our dinner, going back home and last shot, one of the last shots before I go into the B-roll or the ending sequence, in the, in the mirrors, within, in the, inside the lift.